Today I am going to teach you CAM profile calculation. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand calculation related to CAM profile like maximum velocity of follower, maximum acceleration, etc. for knife edge follower with uniform velocity. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's see first of all the description. Through the profile of a cam operating a knife edge follower from the following data. So first lip stroke is given to you as 40 mm during 60 degree rotation that means ascent angle. Follower remains at rest that means 12 period. Follower then descent that means descent angle is 60 degree. The follower remains at rest for the rest of revolution. So this is the next 12 period. The least radius is given to you. The motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity. Very important point for the displacement diagram. The line of stroke of the follower passes through the axis of the camshaft. Determine maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent. If the cam rotates at 200 rpm. So in this problem first we will draw the displacement diagram then cam profile and at last we will discuss the calculation. Draw the profile that means we have to draw the displacement diagram as well as the cam profile. So I am going to write the very important point in the summarized form from this description. And here you can see 210 degree that is your remaining value. And it is very simple to calculate 360 minus 60 minus 30 minus 60. And so that you will get it is as 210 degree. Remaining data you can understand. So let's start from the displacement diagram. So first draw the horizontal line with random length. Then as stroke length 40 mm. So take height as 40 mm. And then once again draw the horizontal line. Now start from the outstroke as 60 degree. So here you have to take the scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree and so that the length of the outstroke is 6 centimeter. Then next dual is 30 degree. So it is 3 centimeter. Then next 60 degree that means 6 centimeter and remaining dual is 210 that means 21 centimeter. But you can't accommodate it so that you can use this symbol. Now divide outstroke into six equal parts with the help of the scale and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Draw the vertical line passing through all these points. Similarly divide the return stroke into the six equal part with the help of the scale and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash. Draw the vertical line passing through all these points. Now next, here it is given to you uniform velocity for both outstroke and return stroke. So draw the straight inclined line for the outstroke and return stroke. So remember it for the uniform velocity it is straight inclined line. In the outstroke follower rise and so that it will be in this direction and then for the return stroke follower fall and so that it will be in this direction. Now give the name of the intersection point as A, B, C, D, E, F. Similarly for the return stroke give the name of the intersection point as G, H, I, J, K, I. So this is your displacement diagram. Now let's start the cam profile. So first take randomly any one point, give the name as O. Now draw the vertical line passing through this point and that will be the center line because of it is the center of the cam. Now first of all draw the circle with radius as 50 mm. So take care this is the circle with minimum cam radius as 50 mm and that is called as base circle. Now here the direction of the cam rotation is not described. So you can assume it in clockwise direction so that you have to take these angles in the anti-clockwise direction that means opposite to this one with reference to this line. 
so let's start from the first 60 degree then 30 degree then 60 degree and next remaining is 210 degree and that angle you can do with the help of the protector now here you have divided the outstroke into the six equal part and so that you have to divide this outstroke angle also into six equal part with the help of the protector so each division will be 10 degree give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so that it will be also 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 similarly you can do for the return stroke and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash up to 6 dash now it is very important point with the help of the compass transfer this distance 1 a to this line similarly transfer 2b distance with the help of the compass to this line similarly 3c now 4d similarly 5e draw the arc with the help of the compass so that you will get this distance next 6f similarly you can do for the return stroke 0 dash g next 1 dash h next 2 dash i then 3 dash j then 4 dash k then 5 dash l now draw the dark curve with the help of the compass from 0 to 6 dash and then draw the smooth curve passing through all these points and that will be your cam profile so keep in mind that in examination you have to draw this cam profile only as dark curve remaining work should be light now we will see the calculation part this is the description here it is mentioned determine maximum velocity and maximum acceleration of the follower here uniform velocity is given to you and so that you have to remember this very important list of formulae for the uniform velocity you have to use this v is equal to omega s upon theta so i am going to write over here now here first you have to find the omega that means angular velocity and you know that angular velocity is equal to 2 pi n upon 60 and that means rpm that is given to you so if you put it over here then you will get omega is equal to 20.94 radian per second and now you can use this omega in this equation so for the ascent period i have written over here theta a that means ascent angle and keep in mind that this ascent angle is always in radian and here it is given to you ascent angle as 60 degree so i have to convert from degree to radian first and you know that this is the formula for the conversion of the angle from degree to radian so i am going to put the value theta is equal to 60 degree into pi by 180 so if you simplify then you will get the angle in radian so now I can put this theta A as 1.047 in this equation. So omega is equal to 20.94. S is the stroke length that is given to you as 40 mm. And here I have taken stroke length as 40 mm. So your velocity will be in mm per second. So this is your first answer maximum velocity for the ascent period similarly i can find for the descent period here for the ascent and descent angle are same here you can see and so that the maximum velocity will be same now at last maximum acceleration and you know that for the uniform velocity maximum acceleration is zero so i am going to write over here directly the maximum acceleration of the follower is zero meter per second square because the motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video